I don't know much about where I come from. I don't know who my actual parents are. These appear to be the first time that I've ever seen my parents when I was possibly picked up in an adoption agency. You see them very happy and they seem to be very proud that they've, they have this newborn baby. I've always known I was adopted since as far back as I can remember. I just never asked questions about my adoption and I always felt comfortable with being adopted. I was told since I was a baby that I came from St. Petersburg, Florida. And I was always told you would never be able to find out who your birth parents are. He let me know that he wanted to know where he came from. So that became part of the mission. Let's get these answers for him. He's always taking care of us. So I want to be able to take care of him. I grew up in a strict environment. Um, I think most of my life I've loved my parents and cared very much for them and I thought they cared very much for me too. Especially growing up as a child, I always thought that my parents uh, were about as natural of parents as anyone could ask for. My adoptive dad, he ran for county commission for a political position as a Republican. He won the election. I was about a month old, and the day that they won the election, two days later, they brought me home. You can see that it creates a whole pure family. It's, it's kind of the image that they wanted to portray as politicians. Uh, I, I think I became something that created their their image and their their family. I don't know how this is going to affect my life or change my life. I just know that there is a piece missing that I've never known. And I'm 37 years old and I have no idea where I came from, how I was brought into this world. We worried about Sean's, whether Sean's adoption was legal or not because there are many women in this country and many other countries who um, gave birth to a child and then were told that child passed away and that that child would be taken and given up for adoption. If I met Sean's birth family, I think the first thing I would tell them is thank you so much for giving him life. He is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. These people have to be so fantastic, you know, they, they must be missing him. If there's someone out there that has been missing Sean for all of these years, I would like to say that he is very loved. And we would love nothing more than, than for anyone with information to come forward, just, just put it to rest. Oh, we've done thousands and thousands of hours of searching and DNA studying going through albums and records and court records, hospital records, police records, adoption records, all their online search forums and we've kind of gotten to a point where we've exhausted a lot of it personally but if you happen to know where I may be from we would love to know what you know and hopefully we can help solve solve this mystery.
Hey Dateline fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.